Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a new litter box that we bought for Imogene. And by far, this might be the most discreet litter box that, that we've found out there. We've been trying to find something that matches our house and something that can look like a, like an art piece or something that doesn't look like a litter box. And this might be the one, but um, we don't know whether it would look nice or not, but we wanted to give it a try and I'll let you guys judge it. Um, so let me know in the comments down below whether you think it goes good or not and if you guys like it I'm gonna also link the Amazon link in my uh, bio or description of this video so that you guys can go check it out yourselves so I'm gonna go ahead and Put it together with you guys. This is gonna be the first time putting it together and we'll see how it goes All right, you guys, so I have it here on the floor and it looks funny because it just looks like I don't know a huge tub um it came like this in an Amazon box. It didn't come with its own box with like the branding. Um, I don't know why, but so yeah, I'm gonna put it together with you guys. Let me show you guys the litter box that she was using. You guys probably remember it from the previous videos. So it is that litter box and to be honest, it is really good. We haven't had any issues with it. It was just the fact that we moved to a smaller condo and we don't really have space for a litter box so we want to put something that's more presentable and it can be a more discreet litter box. But I will link this one because we've had it for about three years and it's been amazing so I will go ahead and link it in case you guys want one. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so I think this is like the best spot for lighting that we're going to do it at. We're going to do it right here on the coffee table. I'm going to just move my stuff and in case you guys are wondering why I'm dressed so fancy, I just got back from work, so I thought I would just do this video real quick and get it over with. <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's figure this out. So I'm going to take out piece one, and then underneath piece one, it comes with all of these pieces. So basically, this litter box is going to have like a planter coming out, and hopefully it looks real enough. If not, maybe I could just like replace the plant part with something that's better. Alright you guys, now I set up, I have everything in there, so basically this came on top of it and everything was inside underneath the first um, tub, so all of these were inside and basically it's just going to have like rocks and plants to put on there to make it look realistic and hidden and I just found out that it is called Secret Box, where's the manual, here it is, here it is, it's called Secret Litter Box, which makes sense. This is very good. I'm excited. Oh, these rocks are heavy. Warning, they're really heavy. <laughs> okay, so this is the filter. I found it. Okay, so I'm going to attach the tubs. Okay. We're going to align the opening. We aligned it. It's just the back hasn't attached yet. Awesome. Okay, so this is good. I just feel like once you have it set in place, uh, you can't really pick it up because once you pick it up, oh, you can't. Okay. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, so this detaches. So make sure you have it on the floor once you set it up. Um, I'll go ahead and set it up here, and then I'll like kind of detach it to put it back on the floor. But yeah, I would just be careful. I wish I had some sort of like lock system. Maybe like twist and lock. Who knows? Maybe we can invent it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You got it in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the filter. This looks incredible. Look at the leaves. Okay, the leaves in person 
they look so real. It's just amazing. Okay, Imogene is messing with the packaging. Can you not? Sometimes she takes stuff and then she just like runs away with it. But okay, you know what? I'll leave it for you. You can play with it. It's a toy. <laughs> okay, so back to this. Um, it looks amazing, even with the rocks and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the litter in there. Um, and then we'll see how Imogene reacts to it. So I'm gonna have to find a way to bring this down without that part detaching. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, Make sure when you're assembling this to put in the area you want to put it in and then start putting everything together because right now, if I'm going to go ahead and lift it, um, the top's going to detach. Um, but that's not an issue because this seriously looks so pretty. I think it was a good choice. So, okay, I'm not liking the hole. So what we're going to do is put the litter in there and then flip this over so that the hole can be on the opposite side and she could just enter from the back and that'll just be easy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab her old litter, which is in the litter box, because I've heard that it should be a litter that, like, she's familiar with the scent, so that she can be able to be familiar with this litter box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But her litter is not that old. It's only, like, a few days old, so be sure when you switch your litter um, to let her use the he or she, whatever your cat is, um, to let them use their old litter box for a couple days so that their scent is on that litter and then transfer that litter into the new one for a couple of days so that they can just be familiar with the new litter box. So yeah. Okay, you guys, she already got comfortable with it. I think she thinks this is like a little home for her to sleep in, but it's not. That's your poopy place. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the litter. I have the litter right here. So this is the old one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Um, all right, Imogene, it's time to get out. She just jumped into her old litter box while I'm trying to like do this. So I hope she doesn't use the bathroom. Please, Imogene, do not use the bathroom. Let's see. Yep, she's doing it. Look. She is definitely doing damage. Thank you, Imogene. So I'm gonna have to wait till she finishes so I can scoop that up and then continue. Alright you guys, she just finished using the bathroom, she went number two, cleaned it, and now I have already placed the litter in the new litter box. Um, so for future reference, if you guys ever want to change the litter, you can just release this bowl and then release the top of the litter box so that you can change the litter easily. I think it's a really simple system. Let me show you guys her reaction to the litter box. I'm going to throw her in. Alright, so I'm grabbing her so she can go, oh my god, why are you flipping? Okay, come on, Imogene. I'm gonna grab you so you can go to the litter box. Okay, she doesn't feel like it. But yeah, I'll just record it later. So I'm gonna turn it around so we can see how that looks. There we go. I think that's fine. I'm gonna probably put this in our room since it doesn't look good in the family room, but I think that's fine. It looks better than a litter box and she'll have the opening in the back. Yeah. Okay, there she is. Go. Go. Imogene, go. I'll throw her in there. Okay, so I've put her in there. <laughs> She's so confused. I think that hopefully the litter doesn't spill out, but it's high enough. It's like the typical litter boxes, so it should be fine. All right, you guys, so my opinions on the litter box, I think it's great. I think it's a huge success. Um, the fact that it doesn't look like a litter box, it's just a planter, um, and I have it rotated right now. So I think it looks great, and um, I'll definitely probably not keep it in this living room because it looks a little bulky with all the stuff I have. So I'll probably put it in our bedroom or somewhere else. Yeah. So I'll leave a link down below for Amazon so you guys can check it out. And if any of you happen to have the same litter box, let me know how your cats like it. I'd love to hear your comments on it. And so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how Imogene likes it over the few weeks. And yeah, so... Please don't forget to like and comment down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!